Okay, now we're going to talk about joint movements. Here are the standards and objectives, pause and peruse. Okay, joints, let's review. Remember joints also called articulations, occurs where two bones meet. Remember there are six types of synovial joints, ball and socket, hinge, saddle, ellipsoidal or condyloid, pivot, and plane or gliding. Okay, we covered this in a previous lesson. Various movements are possible because of synovial joints and descriptive terms are used for these movements so we know what you're talking about. So you don't just say move your arm, we're gonna be specific. What exactly are you supposed to be doing? How are you supposed to be moving your arm? Okay, so flexion, extension, and hyperextension. So flexion is bending to decrease the angle between bones. So like this, also like this, okay? Extension is to straighten. So this was flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Okay, this was flexion, extension. And then hyperextension is when the extension goes past anatomical position. So unless you are hyper uh, mobile, you have hypermobility, some people call it double jointed. It's not really double jointed. It's actually called hypermobility. But unless you have that, you're not going to be able to hyperextend most joints. But one we can is the neck. So flexion, extension, return to anatomical position, hyperextension, go past anatomical position. Flexion, extension, hyperextension. abduction and adduction. So abduction is making a big angle, moving away from the body, okay? So in your hand, ready, this is abduction, okay, making a big angle. Adduction with a D is back to anatomical position. So again, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction with your arms, abduction, adduction. So someone in my doctor's office told me that when they were in nursing school, they learned abduction is like spreading your arms open like you're going to abduct someone. So abduction. Circumduction and rotation. So circumduction is a circle. So doing this. Okay, so you can do it with your shoulder, you can do it with your hip. Rotation is turning. So you can do it with your neck like this. Okay, but you can also, you know, have my arm like this and rotate it. That's rotation as well. Okay, I can do that with my shoulder, rotate it, rotate it. Okay. Pronation and supination. So ready, have your arms like this. This is pronation, supination pronation, supination, okay? So pronation is the palm is facing back. So thinking about anatomical position. In supination, the palm is facing forward. So pronation like this, not an anatomical position. Supination would be how your palms are in anatomical position. Supination, so again, this trick came from the nurse at my doctor's office who said we learned it like, give us some soup supination. Inversion and eversion. Eversion is to take the sole of your foot and turn it in, okay? And then eversion is to twist the foot and turn the sole out. So inversion is to um, walk on the lateral side of your foot and then eversion would be to twist and try to walk on the medial side of your foot. Plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. So plantar flexion is to point your toes, okay? So to stand on your tiptoes. Dorsiflexion is to flex your ankle, like to bring your heel, like dig your heel in, okay? And have your to toes pointed upward to flex the ankle. Opposition and reposition, ready? Demonstration, opposition, reposition, opposition, reposition. 
opposition, reposition, opposition, reposition. Opposition is moving the thumb toward a fingertip, like to grasp, and then reposition back to anatomical position. Opposition, reposition, opposition, reposition, opposition, reposition. Elevation and depression. So elevation is movement in a superior direction. Not too many places you can do this, but you can do this. Elevation. Depression moving inferior. So elevation, depression, elevation, depression. Now I'm going to show with my mandible, depression, then elevation, depression, elevation. Okay. Protraction and retraction. So protraction, also called protrusion, is moving forward. So doing this, moving your mandible forward. Okay. Retraction or retrusion is moving backward. So protraction, retraction, moving it backward. Okay. With your scapula, so protraction and then retraction, right? Retraction, kind of making your shoulder blades stick out when you do this movement. Sometimes the movement can result in injury. So we're going to go over ways that joints can get injured. Well, some of them anyway. Sprains, stretched and torn ligaments. Heal slowly because remember that connective uh, tissue in uh, ligaments is not well vascularized. Here are some examples of sprains where you can see an unnatural twist resulting in an injury. Another, ooh, bend. Those are both showing ankle sprains. Okay, now let's look at dislocations. Dislocations means the bones are out of place. The shoulder is the most dislocated joint. Okay, and uh, a lot of that has to do with because of the increased mobility, all right, it gets dislocated. So this first uh, GIF is of a knee dislocation. Okay, uh, and then we have um, a dislocation Okay, of the shoulder, again, most dislocated joint. Uh, and this one is a dislocation of the elbow. Okay, so it can happen at other joints even though the shoulder is the most common. What movement is this? Circumduction, circle. What movement is this? The movement up. It's abduction, moving up, followed by adduction when it moves back down. What movement is this? So starting here, doing that. That is plantar flexion, getting on your tiptoes, pointing your toes. What movement is this? That is rotation. What movement is this? That is opposition followed by reposition. What movement is this? That is elevation followed by depression. What movement is this? Dorsiflexion. So starting here, dorsiflexion. And that is joint movements. So that was a lot, a lot of movements, but again, we have to be precise when describing things. So I hope that you learned something new today.